Trent. Trent. Hey, Connie. So, I'm taking bets. Either the Tigers will win the flag or get smashed by Port. Ooh. Anything's possible. The Tigers did win nine from nine to avoid being ninth. <laughs> I'm surprised to see you in such a good mood after the Saints won the spoon and you lost the tipping. Who's Big Cat 21? The guy who won the tipping comp. So who's your money on this weekend? Oh, betting, you know, not good for me. Betting leaves me a bit exposed. Yes, I remember. That was shit. <laughs> Mate, you keep staging like this and you're going to win a shine of the year. What's the word? <laughs> yes! Fine. Yeah, all right, you win again. That's five in a row, is it? Yeah. Mate, who taught you how to play pool? Mate, I used to play with a bike. Don't play with him anymore, though. All right. Got too good. That and I gave his missus something. Herpes. <laughs> Actually, I reckon she gave it to me. <laughs> you see, mate, you're a pisser. Mate, you should come play at our club. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I know I watched you before you did your shoulder. You were solid, man. I mean, you were just really virile and attractive. And I'm not just saying that. Thanks. You might see it? Nah, can't see him anywhere. How good is this, eh? Just me and Cameron Mooney catching up for a beer. I don't know who the fuck you are, mate. Hey, tell me this. At the end of the game and all the cameras leave the change rooms, do you guys just get your gear off? I mean, is it like just you and Maddie Scarlett and Gaz are all talking about the game in the nude? Hey, what's it like working with Barry Hall? He smells pretty bad. <laughs> That's just baby smell. Trust me, when your bub comes along, you learn to love it. Well, I learned to love Tyson Goldsack. This might be too much. Who's that? Kind of a player. You know, he used to be kind of bad, now he's kind of good. I don't really have time for footy anymore. I used to be a massive Pies fan. You had the picture of the team in your locker. I think that was high school. You walked down the aisle to good old Collingwood forever. <laughs> this is just a bit of fun. Peter Dacos was your celebrant. Mm -hmm. Kids change things. You don't have a messy, sweaty little man who cries all the time to look after, do you? So how do you play? Well, so every time they say that's finals footy, you drink. Every time they say the premiership quarter, you drink. And every time BT says wowee, you drink. Jesus, you're going to be under the table. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> you know, you and me could play that game. You, me and a bottle of rosé. You should just give up, Gav. What? Both of us are following our teams into oblivion each year. Oh. I mean, the doggies lost to the Giants, for God's sake. And St Kilda cut two players in the warm down. Yeah. Next we'll be calling up Talkback Radio about how players handball too much. Well, they do handball too much. Connie, never give up hope. New and exciting things could be just around the corner. For the dogs, I mean. You know, there's free agency now. Free agency sucks. I mean, real glory is blokes like me and you, one club players. I did win a flag at the Roos. Yeah, but no one remembers that. You know, when I finished up, they retired my jersey. That's how good I was. Yeah. That and the league band, the number 69. Yeah, I could have been anything. If it wasn't for all the, the politics and the reports and being delisted. Oh yeah, I was a regular Chris Mainwaring. So you're an Eagles man? Me? <laughs> nah, that's a bunch of losers. <laughs> no, they don't even have cocks anymore. <laughs> nah, I've always been a big fan of the, uh, the cats. Really? It's like you betrayed the team. Your family becomes your team. The Black and White Army are my team. When you have kids, it's about the important stuff. 
like the final series. Like your baby's first steps. Not everything's about footy, Mark. One day you won't even care that Collingwood haven't won a flag in 24 years. I couldn't believe she was serious. Well, so she wouldn't sleep with you because you play for the Knights. Yeah, it was that. Then I gave her mum crabs. <laughs> hey, after this, I reckon you and me should go and check out the new club facilities. Yeah, we built a weights room and uh, got these nice spacious showers. And I reckon a guy like you should think about making a change. What do you mean a change? You know, like... Switching teams. Yeah, mate, I enjoy the girls. I don't want to hang out with a bunch of girls. You're a free agent. Why don't you try something different, eh? You might like it. Not really into that, the whole free agency thing. But if you were a player and the, the right deal came along, well, you'd have to take it, right? I don't know. Depends who's offering, I suppose. Well, I'd have you on my team. No, I don't think so. I wouldn't want to play for St Kilda. No, no. But if, if you were a free agent and um, I was in need of a player and I negotiated a deal with you, then, you know... What sort of a deal? You know, a deal for your services. What? And it, it wouldn't even have to be a public deal. It could be backdoor. The window is open. The window never closes for the all-conquering cats. I mean, you've got uh, Joel Selwood, who's awesome. Definitely not a ducker. And Stevie J, who is a fine, upstanding human being. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. No, I can't do this. What? Geelong are a bunch of overrated pussies, just like you. I can't say that. I can so. He's got an abnormally big head. Yeah. It looks like a Brisbane player kicked a football into it. It does not. It does. That head could be in the Guinness Book of Records. Make sure you leave the right up in here. There you go, beautiful. Look, mate, I'm flattered. I am, but I'm not switching teams. What, so you don't want to play for the South Coburg Sharks? I'm a knight. Who plays in a grand final and doesn't get a touch? In a grand final. And, and every time you're on the boundary, you're whinging that it's too cold. You're from Geelong, for Christ's sake. Man up, big cat. Seriously, I'm not taking this from somebody who's going to neglect his child for footy. If my kid had a footy head like yours, I wouldn't need to. I could just kick that instead. Mate, the Knights are losers. Only a dickhead would play for them. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Back door. See you, Clint. Oh, was that? Yeah. You guys reckon players handball too much? Yeah, they do. Yeah? Definitely. 